Hi, I'm Brynn. If you don't know me today, I just filmed a quick um, tutorial on this look. I've got like a cute little white outlined wing. So that was easily the worst intro ever, but it's okay. I'm just going in with the Smashbox lid primer in the shade light. Oh my god, can y'all not fight right now, please? Um, to prime my eyelids, and then I'm just blending it out with a Real Techniques brush. Then I'm just setting it with a white eyeshadow on a Morphe E27. And then for this look, I'm using the Manny MUA Makeup Geek palette from forever and a half ago, but you can just use whatever you have. So I'm taking, I don't even know, one of the... Can you all hear the cats? One of the light brown shades as my transition. Oh my god. Um, and just blended that with the E27. This is so bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> then I'm taking the um, two brown shades from the middle row on a NYX blending brush. And I'm just blending that a little deeper in my crease. And I was also watching Netflix while I was doing this. So if you see me making some weird faces, that's why. Um, yeah. And then just going back with the Morphe, um... E27 to blend that out and then I'm taking the um wow if I could stop saying um that's cool taking the red shade on a um Zuvia's Place brush and I'm going back to blend that out with the next brush and you know interchanging colors until it's blended how I want so yeah still just blending watching Netflix and then I'm taking the brown shade on another little Zuvia's Place brush from the teal set which I like would recommend Yep, yeah. <laughs> and going on my outer corner and then just like taking whatever is left over on my brush and putting that in my crease and then I'm just blending that out with the red and I think what I usually do is I'll take the very tip of my brush and I'll dip it mostly back in the red but like a tiniest little bit of the brown to blend the edges and now I'm just taking my trusty NYX yogurt um what's that called jumbo eye pencil before my lid shade still watching Netflix somebody was making a bad decision I don't remember what I was watching and I'm taking the light white shade on a random craft store brush and putting my nice lid shade on and then just um, uh, da, 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 blending the edges out and I'm using the Tarte So Fine micro liner to do my wing and girl wings are really personal like I feel as though the hardest part also I have like three little skin tags on my left eye which is what you might see I don't know if you can hear the cats but whatever um I think the hardest part about doing wings is just finding the right shape that you want an angle that you want for your eye because it's not that hard to come up with a wing and um it's just the hard part's figuring out what you think works best on your eye being able to be consistent about it so yeah um I'm just just yeah I'm not gonna explain it and then I'm, I always clean up with a makeup wipe to make sure it's nice and sharp and then yeah, I'm trying to make sure everything's even. And now I'm taking the Urban Decay Razor Sharp Liquid Liner in white. And I'm just, like, underlining it. And then, yeah, doing the top of the, the top of it. <laughs> oh, my God. Can y'all stop, please? I'm just kind of, like, buffing that in. And then I'm going back in with the black to sharpen the line. And then I'm using my Essence uh, Extreme Last Eye Pencil thing in the shade Black, which I like on my tight line and I'm using a wet and wild mascara oh I think I curled my lashes also I just didn't include that and then I'm using the NYX micro brow brow pencil in the shade chocolate to fill in my eyebrows so that's pretty self-explanatory I feel I just underline them and then I line the top and then I fill them in so you know And then I'm just highlighting my brown bone with the same white shade that I used on my lid. And I also highlight my inner corner. I didn't end up getting covered up, but I do it anyway so I don't forget. And I didn't actually feel like wearing foundation, so I'm just using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And then I'm blending that out with the Real Techniques sculpting brush, because I also didn't feel like wetting my beauty blender. So yeah. I'm just kind of buffing that into my skin. And my skin's been a little better recently, knock on wood. So yeah, I've been more comfortable just using concealer as opposed to like a full layer of cake. And then I'm just concealing my under eyes with Tarte Shape Tape. Oh my god, these freaking cats! I swear they do like each other. And then I'm blending that out with the Fenty Foundation Brush, which was nice for the concealer. Um, I heard Kathleen Lights talk about that brush for her concealer, so that's why, why I did it. 
because Captain Lights did it. So it must be good. Oh my god, she's trying to break into the food. I swear. And I'm just blending it back out and setting it with my trusty number 7 powder on another Juvia's Place brush. And then I'm setting the rest of my face, I believe, with the Maybelline Better Skin. And then I'm just using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Light Bronzer on this Tarte brush that came in uh, their holiday set. Which was really nice. Charlotte, who are you even growling at? No one's even doing anything. Uh, anyways, and then I'm contouring with a little, uh, Real Techniques contour brush, and I think I used the Wet n' Wild little split duo thingies, and then I'm just, like, bronzing my nose, because I don't really want to, like, contour the whole thing, I just need some color, and then I'm taking this blush from the Tarte, uh, the big blush palette that they just had for the holidays on a Morphe brush, I don't remember which one. Also, I filmed this on, like, <laughs> December, like, 19th, <laughs> and it's just now that I'm getting to it, and I'm setting my eyebrows with the Anastasia Brow Gel. I believe this is also in the shade Chocolate. And then I'm using my trusty Eco Tools little, like, um, brush duo thing. Charlie, what are you doing? What? I'm here. It's okay. Uh, to do my lower lash line, and I'm just using the same shadows in the same order, basically, so, yeah. Watch Netflix still. <laughs> Two bros chilling in a hot tub. Five feet apart because they're not great. And I'm just using a black also because I can't not put a black on my lower lash line if I have a wing. Because it just helps to balance the eye out. <laughs> so yeah. And then I'm taking my favorite fucking. Oh shit. Oh, the Ulta Gel Eyeliner. This is in the shade Aqua. I'm putting in that in my waterline. Bitch, best $8 I ever spent in my entire life. I love that eyeliner to death. For Oh my god. And then I'm just using the Wet n Wild Mascara on my lower lashes. Cute, cute. And then I'm taking this old ass Anastasia Glow Kit. And I wasn't, I mean, it was cute, but it wasn't like all that I wanted it to be. So then I went in with Champagne Pop. And I'm using another brush from my Tarte Holiday Set. And yeah, now I took champagne pop. And the lighting, good. My hair, awesome. My big oversized sweat sweatshirt that I stole from my dad, big yes. And then I'm using a ColourPop lippy pencil. I really don't remember the shade. I also have to sneeze. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, one of the ColourPop lippy pencils. I don't remember the shade. They're like there's like a million just you're you're good you're good and then i'm just dabbing on a little bit of the dabbing on a little bit of the fancy gloss if you enjoyed this please subscribe and give it a thumbs up so yeah